What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Rambling Series. So I actually want to pump these out a lot. Um, because I, I really want to be you guys to be involved in the thought process behind making updates. And I want to get you guys' opinions. So you will probably see these episodes more. And I, since I actually decided to make it a series, I think that, that it should be a lot better. So uh, there's really one sort of main topic I want to talk about. It's um, updating the Inferno, which is something I've talked about plenty of times. So you guys probably have heard me um, talk a little bit about that. But I'll talk about more. And then the second thing would be um, Zenite Bolts. So there is there is an issue with Inferno where I just feel like it's not hard. It just takes a it just takes a long time. I think on average it takes about an hour or so. I'm not sure. I imagine with like melee setups and rapier nowadays, there's probably better times. But when I did it, I think it took like an hour and thirty minutes. And it's not not really fun or challenging. It's kind of just doing forty jabs in a row. Um, and one of the problems with it is if you have, uh, internet issues or you just can't spend an hour doing something and you DC, you have to start all the way from the beginning. So I've been wanting to make some changes to it. And what I want to do is make it a little more challenging. Like I actually would like hope that it would be something where you have to maybe do it once or twice because you died. <laughs> So I, I would like to make it more challenging, and then I want to make it shorter, to where it doesn't take an hour and 30 minutes, it takes something along the lines of 10, 15 minutes. So there's a less likely chance that you'll have to, you know, go, or hopefully you wouldn't DC that, you know, that, that often. So that's sort of one thing I like to do. Uh, one of the things I always kind of liked about RS3 was how you could just make guaranteed money from Inferno, because of the um, Onyxes, a lot of people would, uh, would do that as their money-making method. They would just do fight kill. And I kind of like that idea. I, I, I What I would want to do is make the uh, the waves something along the lines of 15 minutes. So then you would get one onyx per 15 minutes. Um, which would not be great, I suppose. Because one onyx is only equivalent to like one mystery box. But this is a, a bonus along the end. So it's not really... You know, there's no harm, no foul. If you were just going for the cape, you would still get the cape anyways, and then you'd have a ch chance of the pet. So this would just be sort of an optional thing for people who want to do it. And then what I'd have it uh, do as well is you'd have a small percent chance of either... Well, there's two There's two options. We can we can pick whichever one we'd like the most. There's option A, where you would have a small chance of getting a Zenite from doing the fight kill. Um, or the other option would be you could trade in a certain amount of onyxes for a guaranteed one so whichever option we thought because that would sort of provide a onyx bolt sink or not an onyx bolt sink just an onyx sink um although i don't know if that's really an issue for us anyways because most people just turn them into mystery boxes i don't know anyone who doesn't just turn their their onyxes into a mystery box but um so those are the the other options and then with the zenite bolts uh it's kind of weird because old school has dragon bolts now which I wasn't really a fan of that idea, so that's why we haven't sort of implemented it yet. I think it's weird. I don't know exactly what to do with it. Um, just make every bolt better. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like the idea of just kind of skipping all the dragon bolts. I know that that's not a popular idea, and not because I'm sure you know people people want old school content. It is an old school server, so I mean I think a lot of people that play the server and watch these videos like my content, but at the same time they do want old school stuff. I would probably say more. I think if they could pick, it'd probably be old school stuff over my stuff. But that makes sense, you know. They have they have old school as a team of of developers and whatnot. But I'm leaning towards doing the Zenite bolt idea. Uh, what we could do is make it where one Zenite equals 500 bolts or something like that. Um, another concern is really just is there even a need for a new bolt because we do have amethyst bolts at 70. I suppose a tier 80 bolt, uh, which is probably what I would would consider this, would be nice. Uh, because I do think that every weapon should be around tier 80. At least, like, the, the, the highest... Not every weapon. I just mean, like, the highest tier of weapons should all float around 80. They should be an 80. I, I would say that the scythe is 80. I would say that the um, the bow is 80. And then I suppose the, the Cthulhu and Scepter would be 80. So this would put um, 80 bolts out there. Uh, the issue would be that the Saren came out with a bow. So there's not even really, like... You would just be using these bolts with a dragon hunter crossbow or a um, armadillo bolt, a bow. But I think that I think that the future of old school is definitely going to bring out more crossbows. 
Um, so we could be we could be ready for it, or I suppose we could always just wait to do this uh, for after the. Uh, I know that when we pulled the uh, divine, it, it people didn't want it. So if you guys don't want this, if you don't like this idea, you'd, you'd rather wait or just do the actual dragon bolts because that's what old school has. Um, let me know your opinions there as well. But I do like the idea of adding a uh, new bolt, and we could give it some sort of ability. We could come up with our own little thing, and that could be fun. Um, I would think like I think something like where you gain like prayer points could be cool, sort of like the onyx bolts effect, but you gain prayer instead. That could be very interesting. And then um, another issue that people probably you probably already have commented it because you assumed I wasn't going to talk about it. Uh, yes, the God Wars two items are going to get buffed this update. I have a plan for all three: the battle axe, the scythe, and the bow. I believe the staff is fine. I haven't heard any complaints about that. I don't even know if anyone has one. Um, if I'm wrong on that, comment below because I'll, I'll be able to see that before the update comes out. But I believe it's just the other three, and I have plans for the three to um, put them at tier 80 where they should be, and they should all be the best at their respective jobs, I, I, I feel anyways. So that update will be this Friday, and then pending on the results of this video and the last video, um, you might get something else. Uh, there will be a Thanksgiving event next week. I'm still taking ideas for that, so if anybody has any, you can provide them. I've got a general idea of what I'm thinking I'm going to do. And I'm going to probably make it a skiller event, just because we haven't had one of those in a while, and the last couple have been combat, so... I feel like giving the skillers a little bit of love will be nice. And some people just kind of prefer skilling events anyway, so... If you've got any thoughts on something you'd like to see for the Thanksgiving event, let me know. And then we also have the Christmas event around the corner. This is definitely an event season. Every month is packed. But, yeah, that'll do it for this video. I know that I'm just kind of standing here is mostly just talking, but that's kind of the, log that's kind of the idea behind the series, the, the ramblings. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know your thoughts on the Inferno uh, update. If you have anything you want to see. Or, again, if you don't want me to do any of the things I talked about, let me know that as well. Thanks for watching.